What's up guys? So uh, a lot of you were asking me to do a small video about how to use Amazon Polly for uh, making your text to speech software uh, audio um, uh, file. So here it is. So first of all, if you're not familiar with uh, Amazon Polly, Amazon Polly is uh, Amazon's own text to speech software, proprietary software that they have uh, that uses SSML markup language. Um, as far as uh, the it, it is a free software uh, and they provide a free uh, uh, commercial intent as well. So you can use it for YouTube monetizations and whatnot. Um, and it, it's available in a lot of different languages. And it's also actually free for until like 10,000 characters or something like that. After that is uh, per uh, actually million characters a month. So, you know, unless you're using more than that, then you should be good to go. And after that, it comes then to uh, pay as you go model. Um, so in order to use uh, AWS Poly, you need to have AWS account uh, to go to uh, to set up an AWS account. It's a free account. All you have to do is uh, go to the. I'll, I'll drop a link in the description just to follow through and uh, create your account. You will need a working credit card for that. They won't charge you anything, but they will need a credit card for you to create an account. Uh, unless you use any of it, then they'll charge you based on that. Um, they're uh, pretty clean about that stuff. Uh, once you have your account created, uh, you will be going into uh, here. This is your home console theme for AWS. Uh, once you get here, you can look for it in the all services, uh, or you can actually look for it in uh, uh, by typing in Poly or Amazon Poly. Uh, so this is your software. Um, it's a pretty standard software setup here. Uh, you've got the text to speech setup. Uh, some of it can be, all of it can be saved to S3 buckets. If you're not familiar, it's kind of like a Amazon's cloud. Um, you can save all your stuff there. Um, or if not, download button is your standard go-to button. Uh, when it comes down to Amazon Poly, there's two of their engines, which is Neural Engine and Standard Engine. Um, Neural, it, it, they say it's more human-like, but it's a little bit smoother than the standard. Um, I personally don't see a lot of difference in it, but why not use whatever's better over here? So I usually pick Neural uh, Engine, um, and in my case, English is my language, so I'm going to go with English. Um, so there are plenty other uh, languages here that you can use. Um, not sure. Uh, actually, for Neural, there's a limitation with other languages. Uh, if you go to Standard, um, you get a little, pretty much every language uh, over here. Uh, since I'm, like I said, uh, I'm an English native, so I use English US, so for neural, so it works out. Um, meaning, and there are a lot, of, a lot of male and female voices over here. This guy says, I just use Sally female. Um, and uh, it's a pretty standard uh, t input text over here. Um, let's see how she sounds. Hi, my name is Sally. I will read any text you type here. So that's neural. Let's see standard. In this case, I'm going to add another one. Actually, you know what? Let's 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 hear what, what happens in standard as well. Hi, my name is Sally. I will read any text you type here. Yeah, a little bit okay. Um, so let me add a couple of things here. Hi, my name is Sally. I will read any text you type here. I will be demonstrating AWS Poly. There you go, that's your pretty much standard, um, I, I, I guess, um, um, text to speech uh, approach here. Just throw in your text um, and you get the speech. But I did wanted to mention one more thing, which is SSML. All of the Amazon Poly is run through SSML language. Um, to understand what SSML language is, basically, if you want to enunciate anything or throw something together, if you want to enunciate Sally's name a little bit longer, have a pause, um, have some kind of uh, more human-like voices, then you will be using SSML. Um, there are a few uh, tags that you need to run through for AWS SSML. So adding a pause, you can add and throw in a break in there. Um, if you want to emphasize something, we can actually emphasize, let's three, 
you know, the size. Um, since it's not available with neural, I gotta change it to uh, standard. I'm gonna emphasize Sally. Let's see how that sounds. Um, Hi, my name is Sally. I will read any text you type here. I will be demonstrating AWS Poly. Okay, so emphasis, I didn't really hear much. And again, whenever you do the, if you're going with SSML language, make sure your text is updated on that other end as well. If you're going with straightforward information without any technical stuff, then, um, you know, this is this is the box. If you turn on the SSML language, you have to make sure everything's good and there's no uh, um, technical errors. Uh, so run through this document, make sure you need what you need from here. Uh, I usually change, does, don't change a lot of things with SSML because my videos are pretty straightforward. So uh, that being said, once you're done with it, you can restore default uh, and also additional settings as the style files, as well as uh, pronunciations. You can add in a few of the lexicons if you're more technical and want to go into it. Um, that approaches over there. Um, as soon as you're done with it, you just click, um, you know, like I said, input contains syntax errors. So if you're not a technical person, just don't go with SML, just go with the straightforward English uh, and it'll take care of it. It is pretty user friendly until you go into technical, um, you know, root into details and whatnot. Just download it and the uh, file is downloaded onto your system. And you can use the file for whatever purpose with the, any of the software, pair them together and throw them into YouTube or whatever you're trying to do with the, creating a video with the text to software. Um, Hopefully that was helpful and um, good luck. And if you have any questions, just uh, leave them in the comment section. And if you like got any value, uh, definitely like and hit that subscribe button. Thank you very much and have a good one.